On behalf of the Philippine Department of Tourism, I am Glenn David J. Altobar, greeting you all a happy day. Summer is near, right? And I'm pretty sure that as of now, you guys are looking for spots for an awesome vacation. And if that's the case, probably Philippines is the perfect place for a lifetime experience dealing with this season. The Philippines has over 7,000 islands waiting to be discovered, visited, and explored. From our paradise-like beaches and idyllic islands with bluish waters to the world's most perfect cone volcano, there are unlimited surprises waiting for every traveler who will visit the Philippines. Since Philippines has a lot of tourist spots, it will definitely be a challenge for you guys to choose which places you will spend your time here. With that, we have listed down the best places to visit here in Philippines especially for first-timers. Let's explore first the island of Luzon. We have here the Baguio City which is also known as City of Pines. It is a mountain town of universities and resorts and it is particularly popular in summer due to unusual cooler weather. Have you ever seen a most perfect cone-shaped volcano before? Probably you don't have to miss our sacred and most famous tourist spot here in the Bicol region, the Mayon Volcano. There are rivers, creeks, and rice fields that travelers can trek on foot or explore by riding an all-terrain vehicle or a jeepney. If you have that enough stamina, you can hike along the volcano base and be all one of the most beautiful and active volcanoes in the world. You can even see smoke coming out of the volcano's peak. Let's go travel next in Visayas. First, we have Boracay Island in Palawan which is one of the top beaches in the Philippines. It is blessed with a long stretch of powdery white sand beach, crystal clear, and azure waters, a stunning sunset, and more. The island doesn't fall short on adventures and activities for people of all ages. After in Palawan, if you dare yourself to see one of the creepiest trees in the Philippines, you must have to visit the Balete tree in Canlaon City. It is a tree designated by the local or national government as a protected tree because of its historic and natural significance. It is one of the biggest trees in the world which is believed to be 1,328 years old. Aside from fireflies and different kinds of insects, superstitious people in Kanlaon City believe that the Baleta tree is a gathering spot for fairies which causes the tree to light up every night. And lastly, let's go visit some spots in the southernmost part of the Philippines, Mindanao. We can see here the Hinatuan River which is also called Enchanted River that is located at Surigao del Sur. It became famous for its emerald colored water. The Enchanted River is being visited by all sorts of tourists because of the soothing and calming vibe it has. And if you are a big fan of diving, then probably this is the perfect place that suits for you. The Enchanted River is deep within the forest and is also along mountain sides, which is why it is the perfect place to take a dip and relax at the same time. If you're planning on exploring on Mindanao, make sure to visit this place. Another spot that suits for surfers is the island of Siargao. It is known to be the best place in the Philippines to do some surfing. It is one of the most popular tourist spots in Mindanao and the whole country. There are a lot of fun things you can do when you're here. You can rent a motorcycle for a very affordable price and roam around the island. You will surely enjoy your stay here since the island is not crowded compared to the other island in the Philippines. You can try different types of local dishes and shop for souvenirs at the same time. Now that you have already seen what we have here in the Philippines, what else would you ask for? Come and visit our country! Don't waste a single opportunity to have the best summer experience ever! Thank you!